Hey, Salakia. Uh, for the interruption, but this is Mark chapter 9, verse 1. Continue where I left off. It says, And he, and he talking about Yahweh Shai, said unto them, Verily I say unto you that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai come with power. All right? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read that in the uh, NLT version. It's Mark 9 and 1. It says, Yahweh Shai went on to say, I tell you the truth. Some standing here right now will not die before they see the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai arrive in great power. You see that? So some of the elect won't die, man. Some of the elect won't die, okay? And the elect understand this, all right? The elect understand that not all of them going to die. They don't know who it is, you know? But really, the elect pray, you know, that they can, you know, endure whatever their lot is all the way to the end and hold on to this faith, man, all right? Because everything else here, all right, you know, these possessions and these things of the world is temporary, man. Okay. I'm going to read that in the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. <clears throat> and, uh, Second Ezra 16, starting in verse 41. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. Okay. Let's read what I got here for that. So don't consider the things you have now permanent. You know, that's basically what it's saying. Verse 42. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. Okay. So all the things we have now are temporary. Have that mindset. You have, you may have merchandise but won't have any profit by it because it'll all be destroyed. So if it's going to be destroyed, why would you put your all, all and heart into that, man? So you see, so the elect aren't even aren't attached to this 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 world, you know. The elect ain't attached to this to this this present world, this present society, the things of this you know, the things of this world. The elect are not attached to that. The elect are attached to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. This 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 faith is the only thing the is the only thing that the elect won't give up. All right. Verse forty three: He that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. Okay. So when you sow, you don't reap right away. You have to water it, let it grow, etc. Right. When you put a plant into the ground, okay, you know, you ain't going, it's not going to just boom. Okay. You know, some instant, instant growth. Nah, it's got to, has it's got to water. It's got to grow and all that. And then at harvest says, then at harvest season, you reap what you sowed. So you may plant, but you need to have the mindset that when all hell breaks loose, you may not be able to reap what you sowed. All right? You see? The elect understand this. Verse, and people don't, people, it's like if people don't understand, people, people of this world don't understand that because why? You know what? They're, they're part of this world. They're into this world. They're all, they put their all into this world. Okay? Which is why. When this stuff gets destroyed and ripped right from them, you know, they're going to have a hard time swallowing that pill. Verse 45, Slocky, verse 44, they that marry is they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Verse 45, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. Okay, so in conclusion, the scripture is saying that everything you do here is temporary. Right, man. People, people, um, think about it, man. <laughs> And that's a whole nother lesson in itself, you know? People um, people in this world, people of this world, man, they what? You know, they, they talk about, you know, where they're going to be 15 years from now, trying to, you know, get rich and go to college and, you know, have generational wealth, you know? They, they're trying to map out their life for the next 15 years as, like, Jacob's Trouble it's just going to happen and then, and then, you know, everything is going to go back to the way, you know, it currently is, you know, or, 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 or they think as if though some, or, or as though something is not going to happen. All right. People don't understand that. <laughs> okay. So look, remember, remember, it's like, remember 2020. Okay. Remember how people didn't have liberties 
that they had, okay? That they normally was accustomed to. Going outside any hour of the night, you know? Partying. That's all Jake really like. Just That's what most Jakes like to do is party, okay? I got to speed this video up because of my um, battery. But, you know, hey, everything you do here is temporary, man. Okay. Verse 46, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. All right. So, like, yeah. so someone who's built a house and stored up their stuff in it, but when all hell breaks loose, those things they've worked hard for and store that will be for someone else to take those goods right for example use that okay someone who built a whole built up a whole house right stored all these stuff in it decorated it nice you know now when all hell breaks loose you know as it says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall spoil their goods they're gonna come in there and take all that shit so all that stuff you done worked hard for and had nothing towards you how about some your side you see now everything you work hard for sort of in the house is all it's all been taken just like that you see and the elect understand this man it, this is this is another reason why we shouldn't be attached to this place because it's all gonna be destroyed this, this 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 present society is going to be destroyed man it's going to pass away it's going to pass away man it's going to pass away and people don't understand this okay but the elect do and the elect ain't looking, man. Look, the elect, the elect want the kingdom of heaven. All right, and this world can understand that. All right, the world can understand seeing your house shine rulership. Okay, let me get this. I might end it with this because of my battery. But it's Second Peter chapter three verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens, meaning a, a new rulership. Second Ezra six and nine, and a new earth. A refreshed planet earth okay you see wherein dwelleth righteousness it's going to be a righteous rulership and the elect want this you know when it's, it's like if i if, if i say a new earth me and the like if i said a new earth me and the whole new planet earth Salaki, so i didn't really listen to myself when i said that but new earth meaning a refreshed planet earth because the earth is going to go back to the way it was during the garden of eden okay man Think about that. You know? This is wearing to the righteousness. You see? It's gonna be righteous. A righteous world is coming, and this is what the elect look forward to. The elect look forward to these these things. You know, I'm gonna get another one. Revelation 21 and 4. Because this is gonna come to pass. Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. And the and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, neither and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You know, so in the kingdom of heaven, among the Israelites, ain't going to be no more sorrow, crying, pain on all levels. Okay? You know? Utter joy is coming to the nation of Israel. Utter joy. Look up the word utter. Okay? So, the elect are looking forward to this, man. The elect ain't in the business of giving up. Because if you give up, if you fall out this truth, you're not getting salvation. Okay? But the but let's 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 understand something. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, starting in verse thirty through thirty-one. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The Son of Man is Yahweh Shai. It says, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, coming in the clouds of heaven. The clouds talking about those so-called UFOs, Psalms one hundred four and three. All right, with power and great glory. Verse thirty-one. And he Yahweh Shai. This is talking about when Yahweh Shai returns. Okay. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So one thing Yahweh Shah is going to do when he returns, all right, is going to beam up his elect from all over the planet Earth, all right, because the elect are all over the planet Earth, not only in America, all right, on the west side, western side of the Earth and then the eastern side of the Earth, or the western hemisphere of the Earth and the eastern hemisphere of the Earth, okay? When Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to beam up his elect from all over the world. All right, but you see, the elect are going to get delivered. If they fall out, then they wouldn't get delivered. But it's already written here that the elect will be delivered. So therefore, the elect will endure. Okay, the elect is going to endure, man, to the end. 
which the end is when your Shah returns. Okay? So, hey, Lord willing, we be, you know, a sincere like-minded brother teaching the doctrine of the apostles and elders of great millstone teach. Lord willing, we be at that number, man. All right? You know, we, um, we're going to be delivered. Okay? Just hold on to the faith. Hold fast, man, and keep going. Okay? So, Lord willing, Lord willing this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, that were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew is Shalom. So Shalom to the elect.